This technique is a standout characteristic of some of the best climbers in the world. This includes Yanya Gambre, Adam Ondra, Magnus Mitbo, and of course our very own Jen Wood. It is fundamental to climbing movement, and today we're talking about how you can train it. We are of course talking about momentum and we can define this within climbing as the speed or force generated by the movement of our muscles, which is gonna carry us effortlessly to our next destination or body position. Momentum is often used in climbing to help move large distances or move more efficiently between body positions by using our weight and our strength to support our movement. Where is our momentum generated? Generally, we're gonna be thinking about generating momentum from our lower body through our hips and our legs. This is important to save energy in your upper body. While your legs are gonna do a lot of the pushing, your arms are also gonna help generate momentum. In many cases, our arms will be pulling into the wall to help direct our trajectory upwards. Where should we carry our momentum from? Generally, let's think about carrying our momentum from our hips. This is because it's close to our center of mass and it's gonna help us move our mass towards the next hold. In slightly more advanced situations, we can also use momentum at different body parts. For example, we can use our arms to swing towards a hold. We can also use our legs to swing towards a hold in what's called a pogo move or a ninja kick. However, coordination and timing of momentum is probably one of the most crucial aspects to get right. We can try and keep this simple and think about the point at which our hands leave the hold and which our hand should be grabbing the next hold. Generally, your hand is gonna release by the time it reaches your shoulder, at which pulling would need to become pushing to extend any further. We should think about grabbing the holds at the apex of trajectory. And by this, I mean at the very point of weightlessness when your upwards movement stops and before you start to come back down. Today, we're going to categorize two major uses of momentum in climbing. The first one is explosive movement or powerful movement. This is typically used for dead points or dynos, and generally this means moving large distances between holds. This is characterized by more subtle or smaller flicks of the hip, maybe swings of the arm, and generally we're covering smaller distances which might be done statically, but trying to use momentum to make this movement more efficient or easier. So the first session we might use to practice our momentum is lower body launch. For this session, we're going to pick eight warm-up climbs. For every move, bend your legs and straighten your arms. This way we'll maximize the momentum. You're then going to drive your hips into the wall while straightening your legs. Then move both hands at once to the next hold. By sinking all the way down and away from the wall, it means as you drive up, your momentum is going into the wall and towards the next hold. This gives you time to move both hands at once. To advance on this session, we're going to do double dinos. This is a very similar principle, but we're going to choose moves large enough that you have to leave the footholds. This means you'll need even more momentum. Aim to make four different dinos and have up to five goes on each one. So the next session is eliminates. So this combines your problem solving skills with using momentum. The first part of this session is choosing four really easy boulders. We're then going to progressively eliminate holds, having about three reps on each climb. This will make it more and more dynamic. For the second part of this session, we're going to pick four boulders just below flash level and eliminate one key hold. Try and choose holds to eliminate so that on some climbs, you might need to use subtle momentum, but on others, it'll be more explosive. It is important to remember that your ability to use momentum is gonna depend heavily on the conditioning and strength of your lower body. So if you haven't already checked it out, please go check out our lower body strength training fundamentals. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.